thousands of people put on their running shoes and went for a jog to honor Ahmad Arbery. He would have turned 26 that day. His alleged killers are now behind bars, awaiting trial. And over the weekend, more celebs took action on Ahmad's behalf. Jay-Z's team, Rock Nation, published an open letter calling for a special prosecutor to be appointed to ensure a fair trial. We are now joined by our very own DBL co-host, Lindsay Granger, who went viral last week for her beautifully said comments that were not easy to say or hear about this case. Lindsay, how are you? And what do you think of the Jay-Z? Um, you love Jay-Z. What do you think about the letter? Yeah, I read the whole letter and something that stuck out to me is a quote that I want to want to read. He said, we cannot and will not stand for another black mother who must spend Mother's Day mourning the loss of her black son because of the color of his skin. And I think that one hit home for me because we had the chance to interview Trayvon's mom, Sabrina Fulton, on the show mm. just a few weeks ago, and she talked about it. And people can't understand the hurt that a mother's going through until they see her face. And even then, spending the whole day with her, you could see that she's still deeply in pain. And I think that that made me feel a responsibility to say something about these things. And other times in my life, when I was working as a journalist and I wasn't able to speak up until the case had a conviction, I feel strongly about this case. And we really want to seek justice. And another part of that letter was that he said, we're going to be persistent until the end of this. And I think the run was the beginning of showing you we're bringing attention to this and we're going to follow this through with action steps until justice is served. I totally agree with you. And just, you know, I ran or I walked. My mom got out of with a cane. She walked. Um, I think it sparked a lot of people's hearts and we wish the family really well and good wishes. Lindsay, you participated in the uh, Ahmad run on Friday afterward. You put together a tribute. I want to talk to you first about that video, but first I want us to all take a look at it. All right, take a look. This is for Ahmad. This is for Ahmad. We want justice for Ahmad. Today I run for Ahmad Arbery. For Ahmad. For Ahmad. Justice for Ahmad. This is for Ahmad. For Ahmad Arbery. Rest easy, King. Imagine walking out of your apartment building or your house to go on your daily run. But you don't make it back home. Because on this run, two people think they can take your life. He deserves justice. And I hope others join us to bring attention to what happened to this poor young man. This is not how we should be celebrating his birthday or anybody's birthday, but in his honor, I ran today. And the truth of the matter is, because of the color of my skin, I don't have to fear for my life when I go on a run. And that privilege is not afforded to people of color. And we collectively need to all stand up and fight against that. You will not die in vain. Until you get justice, we're gonna keep the pressure on their necks. I promise you, rest up. For Ahmaud, for Ahmaud. It's kind of cold in New York, so we got our hoodies and our white shirts. Happy birthday, Ahmaud, we're running for your justice. Justice for Ahmaud! This is mine, and we're running for Ahmaud. We're running for Ahmaud. This is for justice, this is for doing what's right. We want equal treatment in this country and we're not gonna stop until we get it. I'm running uphill for Ahmaud Aubrey, because that's what we gotta do. Constantly run up the hill. This is for Ahmaud! This is for Ahmaud. This is for Ahmaud. We don't want the McMichaels to get off. We want them in jail for life, for murder, for Ahmad, for Ahmad. Lindsay, I'm so proud of you. I am so proud.
proud of you. That was so well done. Uh, I saw people running in Berlin, Switzerland, all over the world, Japan, Hong Kong, all over the world. And it was simple, 2.23, and it, it touched all of us. Uh, tell me about that video and how you all put that together. Did Colin help as well? Yeah, we pretty much stayed up all night because I felt like after the video went viral on my page of talking about Ahmad, a lot of people reached out, a lot of people from different walks of life, different backgrounds, different nationalities, and said they want to do something. You know, they don't want to be complacent. And so I felt like I had to take the next step, which was everybody was participating in this run. But not only because it does nothing, it, it does a big thing. It brings awareness. Even other countries are reaching out, like, why is this happening? We're going to stand alongside you. And I think it puts pressure on the justice system to do better and do right by Ahmad. And I think that we're all waiting to see how this turns out. But there are action steps that I also posted about after that. And I don't think it stops here. This is just the beginning. First, it's heightened awareness, and then it's action, and then hopefully justice. Yeah, and Lindsay, don't forget, you know, pressure bust pipes. And that social pressure means something. I think before social media, we were kind of powerless. We were all just kind of reading the newspaper and hoping. And now people know that if this is not, uh, if this is not a clear and transpa transparent fair trial, there will be social consequences to pay for that. People may be voted out of office. So I think that this is a big deal. And your, your viral moment, but you following up on it is even more important. Yeah. So good job on that. I love our show. I love our hosts and I appreciate that we say black lives matter here fully and jogging while black should not be a death sentence. Thank you, Lindsay. You did an amazing job and I'm proud to work next to you. We'll be right back.